I want you to know that there is another method which is perhaps even more elegant and which you may consider in which there is no decomposition in the two directions. Here is mg. That's a given. And we know that the other directions are also given. This angle is 30 degrees here, and this angle is 45 degrees. If these two forces must cancel out this one, why don't I flip this one over? Here it comes. I flip it over. There it is. T1 and T2 now together must add up to this one. Then the problem is solved. Then the net force is zero. Well, that's easy. I do this. And now I have constructed a complete fair construction of T1 and of T2. There's no physics anymore now, it's all over. You know this angle here, 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees, this is 30, this is 30. You know all the angles and you know this magnitude is mg. So it's a high school problem. You have a triangle with all the angles on one side, you can calculate the other sides and you should find exactly the same answer, of course.